a tale of two cities. As the V1s continue their droning path of fear over London, the citizens of that city too wait for the news they want to hear. But what they want is news of Paris. But on the outskirts of her fellow city, people waiting to return to their homes within Paris. The army waiting, General de Gaulle waiting. For the fight from without is anything but a walk in. Street by street, French and American soldiers battle their way towards the Seine and the heart of Paris. Each building is a hornet's nest of snipers. And often, doors must be broken down with tanks. Behind them, crowds of people creep forward until they are in sight of the Invalide. And it is as though the sleeping Napoleon under that dome is holding his breath for Paris. House by house, street by street, square by square. Then, suddenly, down come the barricades, not to cede to the enemy, but to let in the relieving tanks. Soon, those tanks are beneath the Eiffel Tower, and after four years, those who have held our city in thrall test the bitterness of defeat. Yes, they are through, and then in Paris, well, see and hear for yourselves. Even at the height of rejoicing, we find that our city's agony is not yet over. A General de Gaulle reaches the Hotel de Ville, a sweep of bullets. Beneath a hell of lead from rooftops and upper windows, the crowd ducks for dear life. Paris must purge her own soul. Her pride is such. And everyone who lies there in the place de l'Hôtel de Ville knows that it is all just a question of time. Before the blast of the tanks, the German sharpshooters cannot hold out for long. But while they do, it is hell. Yet, in the end, they must be overcome. One by one, they are shot or caught, and the shooting dies. At long last, for Paris, the agony is over. North of the Seine, the Allied forces are rushing forward into Belgium, so that country too tests the fruits of liberation. North to capture the V1 sites, so that London too can find relief, to complete the tale of two cities. Final defeat for the enemy is to take another winter. But for Paris, the moment is now. And you know, we felt we had the right to rejoice because, after all, had we not ourselves played a part? Thank you.